Writing should make you love life more. I decided to be a writer when I was quite young, about 15, 16 years old in high school. It happened because I read a portrait of the artist as a young man by James Joyce and uh, idolized Stephen Dedalus. I started writing short stories and submitting them to the school literary contest. I then thought about my college in terms of what writer I wanted to study with. John Hawkes was always a, a little bit <laughs> leery of my admiration for him, I have to say. I was once sitting in a class next to him and I, I turned over and I looked at his shoes. I bent over and looked at his shoes. And he looked at me, he said, you even want to know what shoes I wear? I want to know everything about the guy. It's a way of being in the world that a lot of my writing teachers had, a kind of state of being very awake and attentive to the visual world and the social world. I was always excited by the idea that becoming a writer would make me a little more clear-headed, a little more alert. One of the reasons I like teaching at Princeton is that I'm dealing with undergraduates, many of whom are interested in writing but don't want to become writers. It's not a professional class. A lot of my students are obviously not going to be writers. They might be going into business or science. Some of them want to be diplomats. But I, I think what we do in, in the creative writing class in paying attention to language will actually be useful. For writers in general, it's important to have an interest or a mastery of other fields. Saul Bellow, for instance, studied anthropology, and you can see how that plays out in his novels. I can see that with my own students at Princeton. It's one of the great pleasures for me is to read and to learn um, about other fields through what the students write about. I have one assignment I give every year, which is to write a story from the point of view of an animal. I had one student who knew a lot about insects. He chose a swarm of insects because the swarm basically operates like one organism. What he knew about insects, he was able to use in the short story. When I read their work, I usually can find writers whom they should read. And at Princeton, they go off and they actually read it. You know, it's not like I just tell them and that's the, that's the end of it. So if the whole semester can be spent with what we're doing in the workshop, but also what he or she is doing privately, reading on his or her own. I've heard from students, they're very happy to have a place like the Lewis Center on campus. It is their refuge. It's getting bigger, it's getting built, soon it's going to have its own complex of buildings, and they need this place. It actually soothes a lot of students on this campus. I was helped in my early years by my writing teachers profoundly. And there is a sense that I have of, of passing that on. My wife says that I always come back from teaching my workshop with a spring in my step. I think studying creative writing will make you a better student of literature. And I do think being a better student of literature makes you a better student of human nature. And that, that certainly is gonna carry on whatever they do in their lives.